Now, this can also be added directly into your marketing materials for Market Edge. So I've got that open here, and there's a couple of different ways you can go about it. So uh, one way that we've uh, you know had people utilize this is they'll actually have it inside of a multiple page like offering a memorandum or you know listing pa proposal package, and especially in a proposal package, showing that you can actually you know have the 3D uh, virtual tours for these. Uh, can give you definitely a leg up on that. So we've got a proposal here where we've got like, you know, the basic cover sheet. And so recently with all of the photos that are actually in Market Edge, these are all able to actually be linked. So uh, in this case, we've just uh, created a photo that looks like a, uh, like that is gonna open up a play button because that's exactly what we're gonna do with it. You can click on any of the images and this is gonna go for the cover pages. Uh, this is gonna be uh, go for any uh, custom pages that you generate or the photo pages. Uh, you can click on the photo, select the photo, and then there's always going to be an add remove link button on each of those. So again, you just go into the add remove link and you can just paste that link for the quick tour directly in there and hit save. And then when you actually go and generate the proposal, either uh, in this case, I uh, created the uh, website for it, but right on our cover page when the scrolls all the way back. That is now going to be a clickable link. When you hover over it, you'll see yellow and you'll see the uh, the URL there. Again, this is going to take us to that 3D scene where they will be able to just take uh, take that to either website that you generate from Market Edge, which that was done by going to publish and e-publish, or even a PDF document. PDF documents are also able to have embedded links. So uh, what a number of people will also do is create a separate section in their uh, full proposal to uh, have a section for 3D virtual tour and they can include a couple of those rendering images directly here and there's a little note that says click on either photo to view the 3D quick tour. So again if you click on that from either a PDF document that's generated from the publish or from the e-publish it's going to be able to have your uh, clients or whoever sharing whoever you're sharing this document with are going to be able to click on those links and be able to be taken directly to those tours. Then, of course, you can also just create a quick uh, customizable page. So I'm just going to uh, have a, I guess I don't have that one. Uh, but I've created also just a quick single page flyer in here Let's see. where you can do similar. So I'm just going to drag and drop that in. So with our customizable pages, uh, again, you can go in and add images, maps, and the images that you add, of course, can then be linked to those different uh, different quick tools. So here we've just generated a quick, easy flyer that we can, you know, email out, and you know, hopefully your marketing team's a little bit better at uh, creating engaging uh, items than I am. But that's not really where my area of expertise is. But I, I've seen a number of the. Uh, flyers that you all send out and they look way better than anything I do. Uh, it's not a limitation of the uh, platform as much as uh, my eyes. So, uh, but yeah, you can just click on here and then when you then generate this one page, this is gonna give you a link. So let's actually just, so we can then preview save on our single page flyer. and download the PDF. And so anyone that we distribute this PDF to now, when they view it, let me just zoom out a little bit, these links are now gonna be active and take them directly to that tour as well. 